Hey there, so today we have another review and this is the third package from Monday Night Brewing. Thank you so much to Aaron for sending these. Absolutely awesome. Um, and this is, don't call it Hot Atlanta. So I didn't know that it was actually a thing. I guess in New York, you don't call New York City the Big Apple. But uh, this is a double IPA, quadruple dry hopped, which who knows what that means. I mean, there's four different charges of hops in the dry hopping phase who knows whatever it sells beer and so let's dig into this this is brewed with columbus citra and galaxy uh beer comes in a medium gold color medium haze on there uh looks very nice yeah just a little tinge of haze still looking a little bit like west coast uh double ipa but not as clear cheers oh yeah there's that green minty dank thing dancing in there there's a little bit of sweet peach grapefruit it reminds you of west coast man that is fresh though there's some like uh, pine in there, like fresh pine, like some pine needles. Ooh. It just smells like forest sometimes. Yeah, it smells awesome. And then a little bit of malt in there. Cheers. So what I, what they say, were there tropical notes on the nose? There's a little bit of that. And there's a little bit of that on the palate. There's a little bit of that uh, West Coast pineapple grapefruit thing that you get when the West Coast beers get a little bit more on the fruity side. But this beer, as they say, drinks dank. Um, the baseline note in here is just a green herbal dank thing. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of the Alchemist, but not bumped up that high because that beer is just so rippingly dank. It's interesting that you're getting this from uh, Citra uh, Columbus Galaxy. It's maybe a five on that like intensity, but that's the baseline note in here. There's a little bit of that herb thing, a little bit of that mint thing. Just that's the flavor profile in general. There's a little bit of that rounded West Coast malt thing that you get a little bit to hold on to, some biscuit notes, but still restrained from what I uh, perceive as sweetness that I get in some West Coast double IPAs. This beer is insanely drinkable, per 8.5%, not perceptible at all. Drinks more like a 7% IPA. Um, highlight of this beer is that it's so dry, beautiful, without relying so much on bitterness. On the back end, a little bit more of that just like herbal, earthy. It turns a little less green and fresh and a little bit more earthy on towards the back end, but still not your big IBU bomb. It's medium to medium plus lingering bitterness. There's also that kind of hop thing where it's just hops are sticking to your teeth because they quadruple dry hopped it, I guess. So, man, that's good beer. I mean, you know me, guys. I generally lean heavy on uh, citrus and tropical fruits. This to me is just like Treehouse Sap, where you can make a great beer that leans on pine and dank and still execute it so well. That's where the analogy goes. Treehouse Sap, a brewery that makes super fruit bomb beers, but then they can also lean on making something a little bit more nuanced and towards other palates where people don't always want to drink a fruit smoothie. Maybe they do want their beers tasting like um, pine and, and spruce and, and trees and forest. And this beer does that, not too intense, not too dank like Alchemist, a um, little bit of fruit character in there, relying on a little bit of West Coast malt and bitterness and flavor profile while still having aromatics and not too much malt. So it just plays this beautiful game and it doesn't have to be hazy. It doesn't have to be super chewy. It can be dry. It can have bitterness. I wish more breweries mixed up their IPAs and did more stuff like this. Another great double IPA, um, just as good as the last one I had. So this one for me is getting a, it's a, just a, it's a breath of fresh air drinking beer like this. Ooh, I love it. Uh, let's go with the 96 on this one. 96. This is absolutely fantastic. Don't call it Hotlanta. Monday Night Brewing. Thank you so much, Aaron. This was awesome. Until next time. Cheers. Later.